Hi guys, welcome back to Kim's class. Today is the final and sixth lesson of a unit about personal information, personality traits, and likes and dislikes. I think you're going to have fun with today's lesson. Let's look at our objectives for today. The first objective says, I know seven common acronyms used in personal ads to describe a person. We'll talk about what an acronym is later. The second objective says, I remember and can use all of the vocabulary from unit one personal information. The third objective says, I can read a personal ad and understand the acronyms. And the fourth and final objective says, I can correctly answer questions using information in the personal ad. So let's talk about a few things before we get started in our practice. So the first thing I want to explain is what is a personal ad? So many years ago, when people were looking for companions or a date, maybe someone to marry, they would take an ad out in the newspaper looking for somebody to meet. We called that the personal ad section of the newspaper. Now, many of you don't read newspapers anymore. Matter of fact, they're very hard to find in paper form, but people still do personal ads. They just do them online through dating services. So when I use the word personal ad, I'm talking about giving information about yourself in hopes of finding somebody to meet. So the next thing I want to talk about is in these personal ads, they don't write out words completely. They use something called an acronym. An acronym are letters that stand for a complete word. A very common acronym that I think you know would be WWW. Did you know that that's an acronym for World Wide Web? Well, if you didn't, you do now. WWW is an acronym for World Wide Web. There's lots of acronyms in every language, but we're going to learn some acronyms that are used in personal ads. So the first acronym that we're going to learn is SF. SF stands for single female. So the next acronym is SM. I bet you can guess that that means single male. Sometimes there's even more information. Sometimes you'll see an acronym that says SWF. That acronym means single white female. Or you might see SBF, which means single black female. I bet you can guess the next two acronyms. How about if you saw SWM? Can you guess? 
if you guessed single white male, you were correct. How about SBM? Can you guess? Single black male. Now, many times you'll see this acronym. The acronym is I S O. That acronym means in search of or I'm looking for in search of I S O. So here's some other acronyms you might see. Maybe not S M, but if you see D M, that means divorced male. What about D F? Can you guess? If you guessed divorced female, you're getting the idea of this. Here's two more common acronyms that you'll see in personal ads. If you see the letters N S, that means non smoking. What if you saw the acronym I S O N S? Then that would mean in search of non smoking SF, single female. All right. The last acronym I'm going to teach you is HWP. HWP stands for height, weight, proportionate. That means somebody's looking for somebody who's not too small and not too large. There are many other acronyms that are used in personal, in personal ads, but these are the ones we're going to focus on today. What we're going to do to practice this is on your screen, you see pictures of three different people. Next to these pictures, you see a description of what they're looking for or ISO. These ads tell them a little bit about who they are and what they're looking for in a person. What I'd like you to do is carefully read through the personal ad, remember your acronyms, and then answer the questions below. Go ahead and pause your video, answer the questions, and then turn the video back on and I will give you the correct answers. Go ahead and pause your video now. Before I give you the answer to the four questions, let's practice reading these personal ads. Follow along and read with me. Number one, Caring SF, 30, 5, 5. Creative and enjoys playing guitar, cooking, drawing. ISO, gentle, kind, SWM, 25 to 35, to stay home and chill. Number two, fun-loving DM, 46, 511, beard, salt and pepper hair, NS, loves playing tennis, ISO, HWP, honest, athletic, SF. Number three, 
adventurous, outgoing, SBM, 2761, loves motorcycle trips, camping, and everything outdoors. ISO, companion with same interests. So now let's look at the questions and see if you got the correct answers. Number one, what vocabulary word describes the man in ad number three? If you said outgoing, you're correct. Number two, how old is the woman in picture number one? If you said 30, you're correct. Number three, which person is looking for someone who may enjoy hiking? The answer to number three is person number three. Now, person number three didn't use the word hiking, but hiking is when you walk up a mountain outdoors. And he said he enjoyed outdoors. Number four, which person is looking for someone who may enjoy watching movies? If you said person number one, you're correct. And again, person number one didn't say she liked watching movies, but she did say she likes to stay home and chill. So I hope you had some fun with that activity and learning some of those acronyms. Let's look at today's objectives and see if we've learned everything I hope you would have learned. The first objective, do you know seven common acronyms used in personal ads to describe a person? SM, DM, I think you do. Do you remember and can you use the vocabulary words from all of Unit 1? Words like creative, athletic, outgoing. I think you can. Can you read personal ads and understand those acronyms? We had practiced with that, didn't we? And the last objective? Can you correctly answer questions about information in the personal ads? I bet you did great. So class, that's our lesson for today. But before you go, I'd like you to do four things for me. Is that okay? The first thing I would like you to do is to hit the like button below this video. The next thing I want you to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way, every time I post a new video, you'll get a notification. Wouldn't you like that? The next thing I'd like you to do is to find someone to share this video. I'm sure you know people, friends, family, people you work with that may find these lessons as interesting as you do. And the last thing I'd like you to do is write a comment in the comment section below. We've been talking about personal interests, likes, dislikes, and personality traits. Write me a sentence about you. Are you curious? Are you shy? Maybe you're outgoing and like to go out. Write a sentence about you. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for allowing me to come on this journey with you to learn English. Goodbye for now.
I hope to see you soon.